Hello my gorgeous makeup loving friends, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel or if you're new here, hi, my name is Teresa. If you were watching releases and rants, which you should, by the way, it's all about the new makeup news, I was talking about Robert Welsh's collaboration with Ciate and I was like, girl, we gotta get my grace a little paws on that. Now it's a curated collection and it includes several items for a very reduced price. So there's a mascara, there's like a setting powder, there's a lip powder, there's an eyeshadow, there's highlighter, right? All full size items. So I was like, okay, if these are curated by Robert and he rates them, let's let's see what I think. So my gorgeous friends, if you wanna see what I think of it, and by the way, this is the look that I did with it, then this is the video for you. Do please keep on watching. Don't mind my face, I have to put on concealer because my face hasn't gotten the memo that I'm actually 32 years old, who knew? Anyways, if I'm 100% honest, neutral palettes like this frighten the shit out of me because I use a lot of colors and I feel it kind of like hides the fact that I am not very good <laughs> at makeup. And I feel like to do a really nice neutral look, you have to know what you're doing. You have to be really, really good. That's why I tend to be like, ah, ah, neutral shadows, ah. But I do like that Robert included this because I think it was very, very smart. And the fact that there's like some contoury shades in here as well. Um, there's like names on the back, but I'm, I, pff, lads, you know, once the glasses are off, that's it. I can't see a thing. So I have like, primed my eyelid and we're just gonna get straight on into it. I'm using this Blend Bunny B3 and I'm going into this shade here, it's the darkest shade. You're gonna have to make sure that you tap off the excess on this one because, oh my god, look at that, like it's so pigmented. I was uh, a little bit shocked. Like I think he did really, really well in putting together like a neutral palette normally, like I wouldn't be into neutral palettes, but you can see a lot of the thought behind it of like, there's a highlight in there, which by the way, I'm gonna be using. There's a shade in there that you can use for contour, which I think will actually work pretty well for me. Like he's thought about something that will work for as many people as possible. And I gotta say, like, I'm totally here for that. As you can see, like look at all of the pigment I've managed to get in a really short amount of time. Like that's. That's nuts. I don't want to drag it too much in there because honestly, that part of my eye becomes like a deep dark hole. I don't know what it is. Whole cities, planets, constellations just fall in there. It's ridiculous. So just map along here where the crease is. I'm gonna be honest with you, will these eyes match? Probably not. But we're, we're gonna be okay with that. I have another Blend Bunny brush this time, it's B5. And I'm going into the shade just above that dark one. So it's kind of quite warm in tone. Again, when you dip it in, shake off that excess because whew, there's a lot going on there. Did I go a little bit ham and forget that this was crazy pigmented in the last shade? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I didn't listen to my own advice. I mean, that's, that's pretty on brand for me. Do what I say, not what I do. But yeah, I mean, I'm just trying to tap it off because otherwise it does just kind of go, hello, here's all the eyeshadow. I meant to do this much earlier in the day, but I am super tired at the moment. So I don't know what but me. So I had big sleeping and uh, I won't say I regret nothing, but I am also like, shit, I have so much to do. Like I have so much housework and stuff to do. Very annoying. But anyways, that's my problem, not your problem. But look, you can see, like, I've gotten so much pigment just off of that. Like, that is a little bit nuts, isn't it? Or is that maybe just me? Am I insane that I think that that's a lot? Because it feels like a lot to me. And I'm so intimidated by neutral colours. I just, they frighten the shit out of me. <laughs> I just don't know what to do with them. I'm like, oh no. Oh. Then I'm using the Suva 410 and I'm going into this shade here, which is kind of the shade that Robert has been using for like contour. And honestly, I think I'm gonna end up using the same. Will I look frightening? Probably. That's kind of what I want all of my makeup to do. I want to look a little bit scary. So I'm just starting off in the outer corner here and thankfully this isn't like wabam, which I'm honestly very, very grateful for because particularly for later when I'm contouring, I don't want that one to be wabam. Like that would be terrifying. Nobody needs that. But I'm just kind of building it up towards the brow and kind of bringing that in here towards the inner corner. 
I know, it's so complicated. Like I said, I feel like you actually have to be pretty good at doing like a neutral eyeshadow look and I'm I'm not there, it's not my comfort zone. I kind of go, oh God, what do I do? Because I feel like I just look like a really fucked up raccoon, you know? I just can't do it. <laughs> but still, you know, Robert tells you to get something, you're like, yes sir, I will, I will get this thing. <laughs> Like, Jesus, Teresa, get your shit together. I've been influenced. Like, oh my God. But anyways, this is, um, it's actually, it's looking pretty okay so far, gotta say. Like, I'm happy with how the other eye came out. It does feel a bit like, I don't know, it's it's my version of attempting to do a neutral. There was a big chunk of me that was like, maybe they can put like some pink in there. And I was like, no, Teresa, calm down, calm down. Make it neutral, make it neutral. So I'm taking the Blend Bunny B3 again and I'm going back into that really dark shade again just to kind of build it back up a little bit. And uh, yeah, I'm just popping that there. Not too much on the inside because honestly, that will kind of make it a little bit of a crevice. Uh, my mind is still thinking about uh, last night's episode of The Last of Us. Anyone else watching that? Uh, like I was like saying it to my students the other day because I was using it to explain something and they were like because I'm, I'm teaching social policy at the moment I, I know uh it's outside of my comfort zone as a psychologist I'm like social policy what this but I was trying to explain um you know like libertarians etc and I was like oh you know Frank from our bill from The Last of Us is a bit like that. And only one student knew what I was talking about. I was like, oh my God, what is happening? My students are pretty cool though. So I'll I'll, I'll let them off this once. <laughs> I have told them we need to watch it. So like, are they gonna read my recommended readings? No. Are they gonna watch The Last of Us? I don't know, but it has Pedro Pascal, so you kind of hope so. I'm using this Blend Bunny B5 again, and I'm going back in again to that kind of slightly brighter shade. I don't know, it's like less deep. Who knows? I'm not good with words today. It's a Sunday. Oh, I just cannot be arsed. Can I say I was a little bit disappointed when this came? Right? Don't X out of the video, because the the box had the items in it and it had the really cute like cover of like Robert and you know the pretty I was like oh it looks so pretty and I want to I want to keep this and you know squirrel it away and be the fucking hoarder that I am because I am I'm really bad at like, keeping things like that um but like you couldn't really open the box without like kind of destroying that and it made me kind of sad <laughs> so yeah there's like I'm trying to see if I can piece that back together it's a thing. Uh, I'm using the super brush again and going back into that sort of contoury shade because like the way they kind of had the the box like it was great it was all like when you opened it they had all of the like confetti bits in there to like make sure that nothing got damaged but I was like damn I wanted to be able to like keep the outside of the box because I'm an idiot who likes to display things like, whatever but anyways it's grand. Um, I will say this is very I'm not gonna say like a sentimental thing, but like I love when I get something that reminds me of somebody because uh, my girl Christy, she got this as well. And the two of us were talking about it on releases and rants and we were both just like, yes, yes, let's get this. And I love when I get something like this because like it reminds me of somebody that I care about and now it reminds me of Chrissy. So anytime I will look at this particular palette, I'll just be like, is Chrissy. I am using this blank canvas E10. It's dry, there's no product on it, and we're just going to swish it back and forth and kind of build it right up. So, yeah, I'm very much like an emotional, I'm really bad for that. Like, if I see something, um, and like I have attributed any sort of like sentimental moments to it, I'm like, oh no, we can't possibly get rid of that receipt because it was at this dinner that we had to get like. Jesus, Teresa, like, you need to let go. But I won't, because I'm an idiot and I need to, like, work on that. And particularly, like, when we're going to be moving into a new home. Hopefully it's the last time we ever have to move, because we're buying a house. I know, it's very adult. But um, hopefully I, I might declutter some things. I probably won't. No, Teresa, do. <laughs> she says already like setting myself up for a fail. I'm like, no, Teresa, you're an idiot. You're not going to be able to do it. 
whatever, I, I know myself. I am taking this Zoeva 238 and I'm going into this shade, which I know that Robert used as like a highlight. And um, I gotta say, super fucking pigmented. Like you just, look at this, look. look excuse me, who? Who allowed you to do that? Like, that's ridiculous. Utterly ridiculous. So I'm taking a separate blank canvas E10. Again, nothing's on it, full disclosure. And uh, just going back and forth to kind of merge that in there. There we go. And then I'm taking a little bit more of that shade and just put it up, up onto the brow bone to be like, oh look, she highlighted. So anyways, my friends, I'm gonna fuck off and do a little bit of a cut crease and we'll come back and do the very last bits of this eye. We're back and oh my God, can I talk about how cute this fucking mug is that I got in Tesco? Three euro 50 and I regret nothing. It says, see the good in all things. Oh, I love it. It's so cute. So the next thing I'm doing is just taking this Zoeva 238 and I'm going into this marble shade at the bottom now. Gotta say, do I like a marble shade? Not normally, but this is actually quite, I, again, kind of surprised, like, if this is an indicator of Ciate, because by the way, I've never tried Ciate before, I think I've tried, like, their nail polishes, but that's about it. If this is generally how their eyeshadows are, I want to see some, like, colourful stuff from them, because this is nice, like, this is, or maybe it's just, like, Robert just chose the absolute best off. Like, Robert, I'll listen to whatever you say. As Jordan said on, like, a video of mine, like, if Robert told us to contour with dog shit, we would. Like, oh, so it begins. So it begins, my friends. But that is really nice and pigmented. And I will say, like, the base that I have down, it's the MAC Paint Pot. I think it's in Ochre. I can't get a white paint pot for love nor money. It's very upsetting but it has like a yellow base and yet this is still coming out pretty nicely so I'm quite happy with that. I'll pop a little bit on with my finger because you know why not. There we go. Tis nice. Tis nice. I'm using another Zoeva 238. I have these, I have maybe four of these. I would get more and I'm going into this kind of other marble shade. That's the one in the middle and that's a nice kind of dark one just to Bring it out a little bit further and I am just putting it here. Yeah, I mean, you can see with your eyes what it is that I'm doing. Nothing major. But again, this is quite nice and pigmented. I was quite pleased with that. I mean, am I surprised? No. Of course Robert is going to like recommend good stuff. Like he's hardly going to be like, no. Screw my credibility. Here you go. Here's nonsense. No, he'll give me good stuff. I'm here for it. I'm just gonna go back into that lighter shade and maybe just put a little bit more. There we go, that'll do, can't be bothered. And I'm just gonna use this Morphe 562, I know, who am I using Morphe? And I'm just going backwards and forwards. And in case you're wondering about the glitter liner that I have on, it is uh, Urban Decay Midnight Cowboy. I know, it's really weird that I'm using these brands that I, you know, don't really talk about that much, like Urban Decay, and um, Morphe, I never really use them bar like a couple of little products. I'll take a little bit more of that darker shade and just pop it there. It's funny though, because like, when they do some good things, they do them well. <laughs> I think that's why I get really frustrated with them. There we go. And then finally, I'm using this another Zoeva. Jesus, this is like another Zoeva video, who knows? I'm using Zoeva 225 and I'm going into this shade again. And this is great for like blending outside on the outer corner, at least on my eye. You will find obviously, depending on somebody and their eye shape, somebody might recommend um, like a brush for you. And you're like, no, this doesn't work for me at all because my eye shape is totally different. I have um, astigmatism, so my eyes are very like weird and rounded. So I find that sometimes it can be tricky for me to get like brushes that are just right and go into the correct corners. And my gorgeous friend, Daniela, gifted me this. Like, I used it when we were in Edinburgh together, and she was like, here, take it. So that's how Daniela is. She's just, like, such a sickeningly sweet person. But look at how that just blends in there. Nice and simple. Right, fuck it. I'm going to finish off the rest. We'll come back. And we obviously, we still have to do mascara. We have to do the highlight. We have to do 
Oh, the the powder, the I've never tried like a powder lipstick, like what on earth? But I have to finish off the cut crease and um yeah, we'll come back in a little bit. Okay, friends, I need you to not judge me for this foundation, okay? It is a, a new foundation to me, it is a wear test, and um <laughs> we already know how it's going. Let's see if this can save me. <laughs> Yeah, I have uh, some concealer down. I'm just kind of leaving it there because I want to build up the coverage. And um, let's try. Let's try and make me look snatched. Let's try and make make it seem like I didn't have an entire slice of a Victoria sponge cake last night for tea. I did, and I regret nothing. I'm just using this melt brush because I feel maybe if I go in like with something small, and I'm going into that sort of contoury shade. Let's not take too much of it, she said. Oh god, this fucking foundation. Lads, don't let me be influenced by fucking nonsense. Like, honestly, I'm so annoyed with myself. <laughs> like, I'm genuinely like, Tracy, you're an idiot. Stop doing stupid shit. This is nice. This is nice as contour for me, actually. This works really well. She snatched. She's gonna be gonna be an influencer. I don't know why I'm talking like that. I don't know. I think I'm traumatized by this fucking foundation. <laughs> Guess is down below as to what you think this foundation is. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it so much. And I'm gonna try and do like a full day word test. Oh that. <laughs> Actually I'll probably have the video of the foundation up beforehand because you know to be relevant and such. Well, oh, this is lovely as a contour. Okay, you're making this. Let's pretend that I have a nice nose. I don't. But like this. Look at that. She has a nose. She's snatched. I don't know why I'm saying snatch so much. It's not normally what I say. What is wrong with you, Teresa? You being somebody who you aren't normally? Yeah, why not? Let's pretend I don't have a huge forehead. Let's, let's do that. Yeah. Uh, is that a bit harsh? Yeah. But you're fuck it. Whatever. That's what, the powder will help with that later. Shorty? Yeah. No. Teresa, just stopping lazy. Like, actually blend it. Keep going down further on the brush handle than I should. Like, I keep holding it like this. When I should be holding it like this. Oh, Teresa, one day we'll learn. Probably not. I'm 32. It's harder to learn new tricks. I'd love to do a makeup artistry course. Just not to actually practice makeup artistry. I know I wouldn't be good at it, but just to learn more things about it. This is where the autism brain kicks in. of like, I want to learn new things and hyper focus on the thing that I find interesting. Such is life. Um. Okay, okay. This is... Mm, I'm kind of thinking like should I do the powder now or should I leave that until no fuck it let's let's do the powder now let's let's do it so where did I put it ah it's here sorry please be aware I can't fucking see what it is that I'm doing I'm putting it out like this now what I'm going to do first is just I'm going to do this eye first of like the concealer and just bringing it out it's obviously sat there for a while, so now we've got decent coverage. Let's cover the fact that I'm not very good at sleeping well. Yeah, okay, that's helped. That's helped a lot. I've been very naughty, Robert. I used a lot of products I don't actually like, so I'm going to try and see if the products you've chosen <laughs> will uh, improve things for me. <laughs> really, I'm so horrible. I'm the worst making him work for his coin. Right, okay, I have my Kryolan puff here. I know I'm like so, so different uh, going in with something that isn't Trigwell, but I'm taking this, tapping it out there, and uh, let's see. I mean, it's nice, it's a powder, like, I know, I'm, or should I do the, oh my God, it's changed my life. Um, <laughs> such a bitch to say, I don't know what's wrong with me. Sorry, it's this foundation has just like set me off in like a weird, weird way. That is nice though. I will say like it's gone into like my creases, but like, and my lines, but of course it will because it's a fucking powder. That is what it's going to do. 
But it's nice, it's very finely milled. I like that. Girl, you're fine, you're doing good. And again, same with this eye over here. Oh, I wish I could see better. Please be aware that I, I can see so little. I'm like vaguely, like even when I have this mirror here, I can see so little of what it is that I'm doing. I just see vague colors. What's it like to be able to see? Is it nice? Because I'm so dependent on my glasses. And I can't get fucking contact lenses. Anyways, it is what it is. Is that appropriately blended? Who knows? There we go. That was it. Anyways, taking my velour puff again and tap tap. And uh, yeah, I mean, I'm quite happy with that. I think she looks nice. She does. She does. We're good with that. Oh, that's nice. I didn't have to use too much either. Um, I don't like using a lot of powder on my face because I've quite um, like normal to dry, so combo skin. But yeah, that's looking that's looking pretty pretty nice. He used this shade as like a highlight. Let's see if it'll work on me. Maybe not because I am a little bit ghostly. And uh, yeah, he put it like here. Oh oh, shut up. Oh, that is nice. Oh, Robert, you did it again. You did it again. Lovely. Look, I love a product that I can use for a couple of different things. So, uh, you sold me, Robert. You sold me on this, I'm gonna say. Yeah, and then, I mean, should I, I'll just disperse it a little bit. Just make it look a little bit more, you know, like I'm a human. There we go, human adjacent. That'll do. <laughs> As you can see, very precise over here. And then he was saying that you can use this um, dewy skin. You can see this is proper, like first impressions, taking it out of the box. And, um, oh, well that's different. And that you can take that and you can put it, oh, oh, that's very different. And you can pop it on here to give like an extra, Oh, I like that. Okay, this is definitely, I gotta say, Robert, you're saving the dreadful fucking foundation. <sighs> okay, I'd love to see you try this foundation, Robert. Just, look, I'll say what it is. It's the KVD, the, where is it? This. <laughs> we'll see how it wears, but um, I'm not impressed so far. Okay. Oh, she's so pretty. She said about the foundation, not about myself, because I'm not, I'm not that bitch. Um, also, I gotta say, this came at the perfect time because I just had to throw out my mascara because it was like getting to the point of like being a bit dodge. And um, anyways, it has all these claims. It's all like 95.4%, uh, so 24 hour long wear results. You can see I have to have it like up here to see. 95.5% saw extreme lash length. 96.4% saw intense lash volume and curl buildable for added texture. Let's be 100% real. Look at my lashes. That's right, you can't see them. They're fucking shy. <laughs> like they're nonsensical like they're not there i have this shoe uamera and that's looking pretty okay and um let's curl a lash now let's be fully 100 percent transparent uh i'm going to be putting some falsies on because i cannot rely on uh mascara alone i mean look at that look see there's nothing there it's fucking nonsense i hate my lashes <laughs> I need a lash transplant. Yeah, okay, so let's see. Nice enough wand, like it is. I, again, I don't get all excited about lashes or mascara. Well, I get excited about lashes, but I don't get excited about mascara because like at the end of the day, it's just mascara. Who really cares? Unless you're lying about it, in which case, you know, fuck you. Sorry, <laughs> I'm in a really weird mood again today. You are not getting the best out of me normally. I'm an okay person on camera, but today, no, I am a horrible person. I mean, yeah, it's fine, like it's a mascara, but I will say you're working with shit lashes here, Robert, shit lashes. There's not a lot we can do. Yeah, I'll take this nice big floofy brush by Real Techniques and um, not take too much. I'm gonna try and blend out that contour a little bit so it's not quite as 
That's right, I'm so precise. So amazing. Don't worry, Robert, <laughs> if you're watching. You too will one day be as manic and frantic as me. Probably not. You actually have your shit together. I don't know what I am. I have my shit together in certain situations and then other situations, no. Not so much. I think my students think I'm relatively put together. Or maybe they don't. Who knows? They're probably like, no, she is a disaster. That is a nice, that is a nice powder. Ah. Huh. Okay, I like this, I gotta say. Would I repurchase this? I absolutely would. I gotta say that highlighter, that's perfect for like an everyday lip from within type of a, a thing. And I, I like that personally. That's my sort of a jam. This is a bit that I'm a bit like, what's this about, Robert? <laughs> what are you trying to trick me into? It's this little powder lipsticky bit. Now you, I read the instructions because I took it out and I was like, let's put it back into the box again. So it looks like this, it's very small, kind of like that it's very different. And it looks like this. I appreciate this shade. It'll probably work pretty okay on me. Um, I'm just looking for, I have a lipstick brush here as well, but it said you can apply it with your finger. So let's wipe my fingers off again. I'm disgusting. I know, I know. God, I have so many brushes to clean now. But um, I did just pull a face that will probably like indent my uh, foundation, but there you go. Oh, okay. But it's such a strange texture. I don't know what to think of that. We're innovating. Okay, now it says it's like buildable, so. I figured I wouldn't come in with like a lip liner because I wanted this to be like an actual like lip blush type thing. I don't think I actually need to go in with a, like a lip brush. Huh, interesting. This is really different. I kind of, kind of like this. Didn't, I like, I'm not going to say I didn't think I was going to like it, but I was like on the fence. And by the way, my lips are not great. It's not that they're crusty and it's not that they're super dry, but like, you know, they're not in the best of nick. And uh, obviously I don't have lovely, luscious lips like the likes of Missa. So. I mean, what do you think? It's not bad. Right, I'm gonna fuck off and make myself look generally a little bit more presentable. Put on some lashes. I'm using um, Trinket by Eyelure because I generally find they look nice because they're very suitable. I was gonna say that Gardelle with these. Oh God, you're such a bitch. Anyways, right, I'm gonna fuck off now. I'm going to do my hair and we'll come back and we'll discuss. So dreadful foundation aside, I actually think this is quite nice. Who knew? Who knew? I will zoom you in now so you can see the eyes, but like, I gotta say, quite a few components of these are like, chef's kiffs, do enjoy it. So for me, this is like quite a neutral look. It is, it's obviously neutral, but um, it's the only way I can kind of figure out how to do neutral. Yes, I do need to cut my fringe. Stop bullying me. So this is what it looks like without the glasses. Obviously, I said I was going to apply a pair of falsies. And I did because my own lashes are trash. I will say I also had like quite a bit of like fallout from like around here where like the mascara just kind of did its own thing. Now that was fine. I just waited for it to dry and I got like a, a floofy brush and just brushed it away. But it did kind of clump a little bit. So we'll, we'll talk about that in a second. So friends, we obviously have the whole look here. The price of the box is like a banana. Can I be honest? I also got 10% off because I used a code, so I actually only paid £31.50 plus shipping. So, I was quite pleased with that. But let us discuss it. I'm actually, I'm gonna start off with the mascara. I don't think you'll be that surprised. I'm kind of like, hey, about this. I reckon if you have good lashes, you'll enjoy this. When I go out and purchase this again, it's very heavy actually. Like I could do some weightlifting with this. Like there's, there's some girth to that. <laughs> There's some weight, weight to it. Would I go out, oh, it's very pretty looking. Sorry, <laughs> brain is not functioning. Would I go out and buy this again? Probably not at the full price, just because for me, mascara doesn't really do anything. It's just the shit that I put on before I put on false lashes. You know, you'll never find me being like, oh my God, it's the best mascara ever, because I have no lashes. 
right? If you have lashes, I reckon you will enjoy this, right? That's that bit done. That was the only thing that I'm like, eh, not so much. Lip powder, weirdly, right? There's like an element of almost like Korean beauty to this. And I quite enjoy that, it makes sense with Robert. I like that you can legitimately build this up. Obviously I didn't put any lip liner with it, but I think this could look nice with even like a gloss or something on it. Love that. I mean, obviously if you're not into like putting your finger into products, this ain't gonna be for you, but I really enjoyed this. I would be keen to see some other colors in this. Maybe try that out myself. Yeah, quite liked that, but I have a lot of lip products. So, you know, we'll take that as it is. Um, oh, next, this. Shut up. I didn't think I would like this as much as I did. Like, you know, you just look at it and you're like, okay, what are you? What, what, what are you? Really, really nice, lovely, glossy sort of a highlight. I think this over a nice foundation. Fuck you, KVD. This would be beautiful. Really, yeah. I would absolutely get this again. Love it. Obviously, I'm going to use this all up. <laughs> Love it. Shut up. Really liked this. Really finely milled. I think I prefer this to Laura Mercier. I'm just saying it's really finely milled. And it's like proper like extra white. The, the Laura Mercier that I have has like a yellow tinge to it. It's the translucent. And um, considering I'm cast with the friendly ghost, I kind of need something that is a little bit more like pale. So. 11 out of 10, loved this. The thing that surprised me the most was this. I liked this a lot more than I thought I was going to. I know, I know, I love colouring, yeah, I liked this. I liked how versatile this was, that I had a contour, I had a highlight. I actually reckon if I'd gone into this, I probably could have used this as a bronzer as well if I'd been like very, very like light-handed with it. I used one, two, three, four, Five, six, six out of the nine shades. I gotta say, I was pleasantly surprised. It's nice, it's small, it's handy. Would I necessarily buy it again? No, because I have it. So, ha, 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 ha. But I actually think this is quite nice. I'm gonna be keeping an eye out for a Ciate to see if they do any nice, kind of colourfully palettes like this, because the formula, I was, uh, was pretty impressed. Pretty impressed. Okay, so I had to interrupt myself there. That's right. Current Teresa is interrupting past Teresa so that the future Teresa can insert this. It's very confusing. But I felt really, really bad because when I was trying out all of these products, I had a, the fucking worst foundation ever. I was like, oh, let's do two videos in one day. You fucking idiot. So it's very difficult to actually discern like how good the products actually are when you're looking at that terrible, terrible foundation. So I've actually used everything now several times, like several times. So this is me using all of the products here. And um, yeah, I, I gotta say, quite enjoy all of them. Uh, the only thing that I wouldn't be that bothered on is the mascara because I mean, I have shit lashes. If you had good lashes, you'd probably feel differently. But um, I think, I think my favorite might be, and I'm I'm surprised by this, probably the palette. I know, I am surprised, but I think it's because you see I can get a highlight and a contour in this. Yeah, also I do really like the powder. Yeah, actually it's it's between it's between the two of these. I really, really enjoy. So yeah, I just felt it was important that you could see what it looks like when I have good foundation on that I don't look like I'm crumbling and falling apart. I'm only crumbling and falling apart on the inside, not on the outside. So yeah, return to the rest of the review now. All in all, £31.50, because I'm a cheap bitch and was going to use codes if I could find them. £31.50 for five full size items. That works out at £6.30. Fast math. Hell yes. I'm happy to even pay £6.30 for this, like, you know, and it's a mascara, like, works out fantastically. I believe that box is still on sale. I highly recommend actually going and getting it. It's fabulous. Go and check it out. But my gorgeous friends, that is it. Do please like, comment and subscribe. Turn on that notification bell simply because it is polite. And do please share because sharing is caring, except of course for STDs, in which case, just wrap it up. Don't be gross, but that's it. That's the end of the video. And you never know, I might see you in another one. Bye.